to understand the mechanics of sediment transport, it's really important to understand the fluid dynamics of the flows and the behavior of those flows. And so what, we wanna, what I want to talk about in this video is the difference between a laminar flow, a turbulent flow, and then there's this transition in between, of course. So when we have uh, water or any fluid, um, we can track a little bit of that fluid as it mos moves downstream in the flow. So we have a flow in this direction. And in the case of a laminar flow, the individual particles move downstream parallel to each other. So in a laminar flow, this would be a particle and it would move downstream. And so if we have another particle here, it would move downstream in a parallel way. And there's actually no mixing of these particles. Right? And I'll share a video uh, that, shows, that shows how that works. In contrast, if we have a flow with turbulence, The, f the particles move uh, in response to, to that turbulence and they um, don't move parallel, they end up getting all mixed up. So our black particle might move something like this. Our purple particle would have a different path. And our red particle here Could have, would have a third path, right? And so this turbulent comes from the extra energy in the flow and bursts of flow that are at different speeds that cause this mixing. In contrast, a laminar flow is um, all parallel and going downstream. Okay. So like everything, or most things in nature, there's not a strict division between laminar and turbulent flow, and we have between these two transitional flows. And these have characteristics of each of them. So if it's a transitional flow that's close to laminar flow, you might have your particle moving downstream, but not in a straight line. So the paths aren't exactly parallel. Might be something like that. And there can be maybe a little bit of mixing. Something like that. If you have a transitional flow that's really close to a turbulent flow, you'll end up with a lot more mixing, but maybe not as much as a fully turbulent flow. So you end up with these different possibilities and the behavior of a particle. Uh, uh, this could be, for example, a particle of water that you're tracing or maybe a particle that's suspended in the, in the fluid. Um, these characteristics strongly affect sediment transport. Thanks for watching.